<laughs> There's a lot of professional sports out there. Professional bowling, professional billiards, hell, even professional baseball. But most of you don't know about a sport that's been around for over 40 years. A little sport called foosball. In the 1970s, professional foosball was a top 10 sport in America. They went from a quarter million dollar tour to a $375,000 tour to a half million dollar tour to a million dollar tour. And while the golden era of foosball remains a fond but distant memory, there's still a bunch of foosballers out there who've kept the sport alive, hoping one day they can win the highest honor to be crowned a world champion. Todd Lafredo won his first world championship in 1977, and he won his most recent world championship in 2012. This right here is a World Cup trophy. How could that not be the sweetest trophy in here? When you're watching the people on the video play, you're generally watching good ball. We're going for the gold standard in this industry. So this is kind of the start. You know, Ryan, um, is the number two player in the world. Amongst the foosball players, Ryan is definitely a local celebrity. It's always be like a few guys kind of chinking around on the table, and that's when I'll walk up to it, flip my hair and spin the rods, and be like, what is this, is this King Kong? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Most people don't know that professional foosball exists. Like, it's not like definitely don't think that I would play it if they looked at me. Actually won the Junior Olympics in wrestling, but I fell in love with foosball. Come on, Richard! And sitting in the king seat, five time, Hall of Fame Classic Singles Champion, please welcome from Ruskin, Florida, Tony Brayman. Hey. Table, 30. Seven, Tony, Spreadman, Todd, Lafredo, Brian, Moore, Rob, Marez. <laughs> These documentary guys are hoping to follow some of the best players as they prepare for the world championships. Just go to Kickstarter and help spread the word. Because if you don't, well, this movie and these stories will never be told. Gosh, wouldn't that be a shame?